Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, I just want to say this video is probably going to be very long, so grab a snack, grab a drink, and get ready for my bookshelf tour. I actually have two bookshelves, so there is definitely going to be a lot of books. Um, one reason I want to do this is I want to count how many books I have, because I have a lot. Like, I have a lot, a lot, and it's kind of insane. Obviously, I don't have like all the books that I own right now because I lend out books. So I'm going to say what books I'm lending out right now. Um, right now, I think I have eight books lent out, which is actually a lot. First six that I'm lending out is the entire Fifty Shades of Grey series. I have the first three, which is the original uh, trilogy. And then I have the third, uh, or the third three, what? I have the second three, which is all of the books from Christian Gray's point of view. So I have all of those books and I'm lending them out right now. So lending out, it ends with us by Colleen Hoover. And then the last book I'm lending out is Sex in the Heartland by Beth Bailey. So that's eight books. So future Aubrey, when you are counting how many books, include those. So I'm going to include two books that I'm currently reading that aren't on my shelf. The first one is The Emotional Entrepreneur by Scout Sobel. Um, I'm reading this I'm gonna finish this in January and then I also have 101 essays that will change the way you think so these are two of my current reads that I have on my nightstand just because I'm currently reading them hey guys I think we're ready to get started um, we're gonna start with this bookshelf I'm gonna push you back this bookshelf is actually um, my first bookshelf that I ever got I think I got this for my 18th birthday and I'm so grateful for it. This is, if you can't tell, this is my series shelf. Three shelves and um, you get to change the height of all of them. So I think these two are bigger than the third one because I couldn't get them even or something like that. But it really works out perfectly. I have most of my series on this shelf. So we are just going to get started. First, I have The Maze Runner. I have never read this series and I only have the first one. Um... But it's a book that I eventually want to read. The series is something that I want to read, so I have it right there. Um, and then I have Hunger Games, including the um, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I wish this was a paperback, because my other ones are paperbacks, but it's fine. I also have The Insurgent. What? Wait. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so embarrassed. This is out of order. I have the Divergent series, along with a little... Um, this this is actually really cool. Um, you can take the test to figure out what you are. I'm a candor if you guys want to know that. really wish I had four. It is my goal to get four. Once I reread these, um, I'm going to buy four and then I'll have it. Anyways, okay, then I had the If I Stay series. I feel like this, um, the first book was really popular and I feel like I've seen a resurgence of it on TikTok recently. So if this is like another book that's getting popular, maybe I should reread it. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but there is a second book. It was really good. Um, I didn't really like it too much, but like it was good to have the series finished. I have the entire uh, selection series. I have the first three, which is about the same character. The second two that um, the second two. I don't know if I'm saying this right, but anyways, you guys know. The fourth and fifth book, which is her daughter. And then this has like a collection of stories. I really like this one. Um, it has a whole bunch of stories in it. And if you really like the selection series, I would recommend um, getting this one. Author, this is Kira Cass. And I think she only has this series, um, a standalone called The Siren. And then she also has this series. She actually just completed this this summer um i think these covers are so pretty so i am going to pull them out um another like princess prince type of deal then after that i have the entire collection of the after series the printed series so i had the first four books and then the first it's kind of like the first book told in hardin's point of view but there's also more to it so i have all of these i don't really like the covers if i'm being honest just like this is just like grass Anyways, I actually have a new series that is taking over, and if you can see, it is Throne of Glass. I had the entire um, box set back here. Yeah, I had the entire box set, all eight of them. I have not read these yet. I want to read them so bad. They look so pretty. Um, I hope to that I'll read them in 2022 just because I really want to read the series. Um, this next series is um, called Deathless Trilogy. 
I heard it's similar to Fifty Shades Grey. I haven't read any of them. I got all the books off of um, Thrift Books besides the first one. My dad bought this for me at Barnes & Noble actually. But I heard this series is really good, so I have all three of them. Okay, and then moving over, I have A Touch of Darkness, the series. I have the three books. I haven't read any of those, which is, I feel like it's just wrong to say that because I heard the series is really good, but I haven't read it yet. I'm pretty sure there's like a fourth book that's coming. Um, so I think my main thing is like, I'm just waiting until that comes. Um, next, I have the Shadow and Bone uh, trilogy along with the Six of Crows duology. I haven't read any of those books, but they are back there. Okay, this is kind of like my fantasy row. So I own all of Stephanie Meyer's um, Twilight series. I really, really, really want to own the like paperback with the movie cover, the paperback with the regular covers, the hardcover um, ones, because I kind of have a mix going on. But that is fine. So first off, I own The Host. I feel like this was the only other Stephanie Meyer novel that really got any traction as a movie. It's actually really good. It has Saoirse Ronan in it. The four main books of the series. Midnight Sun, Life and Death, and then The Short Second Life of Brie uh, Tanner. Love this series. This is my favorite series ever. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's not good, but it is good if that makes any sense. I have the Red Queen series. I got this for Christmas last year. This was the first series I read, and... Well, besides Twilight, <laughs> it was so good. Um, I really, really like this series, which I'm sad because I DNF'd both of these books, which are uh, companions to this. So I'm pretty sure The Broken Throne has the two novellas that are in The Cruel Crown, but I just own both of them. So this is just like more content about the main characters, obviously. And so I would really like to eventually read that. I just haven't. And if you can't tell, this series is one of my favorites. It's A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Um, I have all the books. I have the paperbacks. Um, I really wish this was the same size, but I realized that it would probably be a lot, a lot of pages if it was. Um, but yeah, that is the shelf right here, and now we're gonna go behind. Hey, and no surprise, I have the white paperback, um, collection of the Twilight series. I'm gonna pull it out just because it's so pretty. Um, I love this series so much, if you can't tell. So, limited edition collector set. And I own it, thankfully. And then, the only other series that I have in the back of here is the Me Before You trilogy. So, I have the original novel. I got all of these off thrift books because I really would like to read it. Um, I just haven't done it yet. So, Me Before You, and then I have After You, which they are not the same size. Um, and it gets even worse. Still Me is the third book. So, I have all three of these books, and eventually I will read, I will read them. Um, but I just haven't yet. So I know this is like the worst angle. Also, these Harry Potter books that you see right here, they're not mine, so I'm not including them. But this is the last shelf. This shelf actually scares me because I literally had to... This is a puzzle right here, so I'm going to try not to touch it. Although I think there is stuff behind it, so I'll probably mess with this. Anyways, you guys don't care. So the first series I have right here, one of my favorite series of 2021 and... Of the YA fantasy realm is the Shatter Me series. The series is one of the best series I've ever read. I really enjoy it. There were the first three books and then she came out with a novella and it kind of goes in between them. And then the second three books with another novella and then the final novella that came out this November. It is such a good series. I love it so much. I would recommend it. I will say I am a person that creases my books and I really love it. But I will say I don't love it when I can't fit them because the creasing them obviously changes how they sit and so yeah. Anyways, okay, the next series I have is the Percy Jackson series. I had the box set that actually like lays out and creates a map which I think is really cool. This is another thing where my creasing like won't let them back in the box fully which is kind of annoying but I really really enjoy that. Next, I have the Cruel Prince 4 book series. I have the first three. Um, and then I have the fourth book that she recently came out with, and I really like that series. There's also like a little novella that goes after The Cruel Prince, um, but I think it's only an audiobook, so I don't have it. I have the four uh, Kennedy books because the fifth one wouldn't fit up, fit up here, so I know it's behind. It's the Legacy, uh, which is the uh, fifth companion novel to the main four series. 
And the last three books I have on here are the Blood and Ash series. Um, I haven't started these because I really want to just have the complete set or more because I feel like I'm really, really going to enjoy that series. That is the first shelf. Yay! So first I have Atomic Habits. This shelf right here, um, first before we get started, this is kind of like my self-help slash like my classics slash like random books that I don't want to display up there. But anyways, let's get started. So I have Atomic Habits. Um, I will teach you how to be rich, gay awareness, this is literally the worst book I've ever read. Um, I have Game Changing Moves, Captivating, Get Out of Your Head. I have all of Rachel Hollis's um, self-help books, Girl, Wash Your Face, Girl, Stop Apologizing, and then Didn't See That Coming. I have two of Sadie Robertson's books, um, Live Fearless and Then Live. I have two of Bob Goff books, Love Does and Everybody Always. Then I have Brave, um, which is a Christian book. And then I have The Chase, which is a relationship book about, like, based on Christianity. And I have The Hand of God, which talks about Joseph's story. Um, I have Life Is, The 40 Day Experience. Um, this is like a devotional. I have 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Don't Do. Then I have three devotionals right here. One by Lisa Barev and then two by uh, Lisa Turkhurst. And then right here I have a whole bunch of journals, so these really don't count for books. But I do have a devotional right here. And then I have two Bibles. Um, I believe both of these are just the New Testament. So down here I have Pride and Prejudice. Oh my gosh. I argued that Pride and Prejudice is my favorite standalone slash favorite classic. I literally love that book. I have The Women in White. Um, the Woman in White. I got this from London Stad. have not read that. I have The Aguero Sisters, Virginia Woolf's To the Lighthouse, 100 Years of Solitude, The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down. I have another copy of Pride and Prejudice. This one is actually Twilight Classics. I wish I could pull it out. Maybe I'll just put a picture right here. It's so pretty. It's like in the theme of how Twilight books were made. Um, then I have James Joyce, a poit uh, portrait, <laughs> a portrait, what? A portrait of um, I have a portrait of the artist as a young man. I have Colson Whitehead's The Intuitionist. Toni Morrison, Song of Solomon, and then I have Little Woman, um, and then up at the top I have Carmilla, which I think this cover is just so pretty. It's a vampire book. Love it. I have this hippo book back here that my sister gave me. If you guys can't tell, I love hippos. To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, okay, let me put these back and we'll get to the other side. This is also where I keep all my bookmarks right there, um, if you care. The book I have is Altered. This is one of my favorite books ever. It's a vampire book. Then I have Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Gibbon. It's a feminist book. And then I have Feminism is for Everyone, obviously another feminist book. Um, I have Being Human, um, which is a memoir. I have We Demand, which is a... Most of these are non-fiction, by the way. Some will be fiction, like Altered, um, and some over here, but... Uh, most of the ones are nonfiction, so that's a nonfiction book about student protests. I have Seizing Freedom, um, which is about racism. I have Into the Wild. I feel like that book is so good. Everyone should read it. I have Room. I haven't read this, but I did watch the movie, and it was super good. I have A Little Life. Um, if you know, you know. Then I have The Body Keeps a Score. I have another memoir by Dolly Alterton called Everything I Know About Love. I have The Glass Castle, which is my favorite memoir ever, besides Chanel Miller's um, memoir. And then I have a Nicholas Sparks book called Every Breath. Then I have the first um, Julia Quinn novel, The Duke and I. Then I have Just Friends, which is a romance. I have Speak, which is this book right here. This is a book that everyone should uh, read and watch the movie. It's super good. Um, I have Diary of an Oxygen Thief. This was very Tumblr. Um, it's not that good. Um, then I have Looking for Alaska and The Raft. Wow, guys, first shelf is done. I forgot to say this earlier, but my three stack bookshelf is from Walmart. I got that for my 17th birthday, or no, my 18th birthday. And then this shelf, a five stack ladder shelf, and I got this from Target for my 19th birthday. So I just wanted to say that in case you guys are looking for uh, bookshelves, but yeah. I'm so sorry if I'm talking fast, but I just want to get through this, and I know this video is going to be long. But this next shelf is all of my hardcovers. All of my uh, fiction hardcovers are on the shelf mostly. Um, so let's get started. Poetry books, these obviously aren't hardcover. These three are by Ruby Cower. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that. I feel like we all know who she is. Also this plant is from Target. And then this little thing, I think Lemon got this for me. It's a little hippo, so cute. I have all three of her books. I have Milk and Honey, 
the sun and her flowers and then homebody i feel like these are super popular the first book i have here is the book of lies um this is a fantasy book i got this for christmas for a few years ago i have not read it in a while but i know it, be, it was very shocking and interesting not my favorite book but it was definitely very interesting next book i have is the hate you give this book is so good i feel like everyone needs to read this um literally amazing book i still have never seen the movie i really want to um this one I have is Beautiful World, Where Are You? by Sally Rooney. I own all three of Sally Rooney's books. Um, this is the only one I have in hardcover. I got this for Christmas this year. Such a pretty book. I have a memoir. This is Recipes for Disaster by Tess Rafferty. I don't know who that woman is. Her book was funny. She has a lot of recipes and yeah. Next, I had The Midnight Library. I'm embarrassed because obviously you can see I got lazy and didn't take off this sticker. Um, but yeah, I haven't read this one, really want to. So I have All This Time, such a pretty cover, and I also have Five Feet Apart. They look like each other. I haven't read All This Time, but I have read Five Feet Apart. It was very, very sad. I have The Lovely Bones. Have not read this yet. I feel like it's going to rip my heart apart, but I have seen the movie. It traumatized me as a child. Um, excited to read. I got this at Goodwill's. Uh, I, th I got this at Goodwill, and it's in pretty good condition I have where the crowd i'd sing this book was so good i read this december 2019 no december 2020 i think such a good book um it shocked me it was actually really brilliant Next, i have a lore i feel like this book is going to be so good but for some reason greek mythology to me is just a summer read so i have not read this um but i'm very excited too this book i want to read it so bad i've heard such great things about it it's on reese's book club um but it's seven days in june it's really good and i really really want to read it there's another book i really want to read it's called the other black girl i um i know it's like kind of like competition between two women in the workplace but i'm not really sure i don't want to say anything um but noelle gallinger recommended it and i literally just listen or i read anything that she recommends almost so i really want to read this and also the cover is really stunning this one i have is a comedic novel by maria simple it's uh called today will be different okay the first one i have these are all my book of the month picks by the way i don't know if you can even see it because i think i think the white covers it but it's 56 days i have not read that one yet then i have the woman in the window i actually got this copy at uh goodwill like i got a book of the month at goodwill so i think that's really cool i have read that one it's a pretty good one the movie not good because i am malibu rising by taylor jenkins reed taylor jenkins reed is one of my favorite authors so i really enjoyed that one next if you guys can see i have the three uh kiss quotient books kiss quotient the bride test and the heart principle that series is so good and cute next i have the love hypothesis which was one of my favorite books of 2020 one then i had the dating plan this is one of the romances that i didn't really like i know there is more there's a first novel and i think there's a third one um in the like world of it i haven't read them um it was interesting though i liked how it brought in indian culture if i'm remembering correctly um but it personally just wasn't my favorite because i had the xx this was a cute holiday romance and then i had the maidens which is the author of the silent patient i haven't read that one again that feels more of like a summer book for me for some reason um and then i have ariadine ariadine uh, i'm not really sure i know this is greek mythology so like i said it's gonna be a summer book i have a memoir that i really want to read i'm pulling this one out because it, it's just so pretty i love the colors it's my body i definitely want to read this one i heard there's like some things that you're just like why did you have to involve that but i really really want to read this one um this might be my february nonfiction book this one i have is holiday swap this book was really cute i like the cover so i'm going to show it I actually have my uh book of the month for this month it is a short story collection i've never read a short story collection so i'm really excited to read this one my last book of the month book is a little hope this actually doesn't have the tag on it which is just so weird um but yeah have not read this i'm pretty sure it's just like contemporary fiction i know you guys can't see these so i'm gonna pull them out the first book i have is crescent city uh house of earth and blood have not read this one because i want to wait for the second book at least um this book is gorgeous like guys 
the cover on that holy crap i have a book called necessary lies i think this is just contemporary fiction this book was really good i actually really enjoyed this one um i, I don't know if diane chamberlain is a popular author but i got this book from london's mom and it was super good so i have a very beach read it's called rock the boat i love the cover this book wasn't my favorite romance but the cover is just super cute this is the soulmate equation by christina lauren uh this was my first book by these two and i really enjoyed it the cover is beautiful and yeah this is my third shelf and almost the last shelf of my books the this is the last shelf but we'll get there so first i have this vase this is actually made by my sister gracie it is so cute i love it i don't have anything in it just it just kind of sits there i have glossier packaging i don't know why i know it's trash but it's just like cute so the first three books i have are contemporary romance i feel like these are what got me into contemporary romance by hannah ornstein i literally think i got these at walmart during the start of quarantine um, I love them. They're like cute. They're easy reads. Um, she's coming out with the fourth book, which I will be buying. And we have our first little stack right here. I'm not going to pull these out, but I have All the Bright Places and then Holding Up the Universe. These are by the same author. Um, all the Bright Places is definitely better. Um, it also has a movie that is really good. I have My Life Next Door. This book is also really good. Not popular, but I really like it. Then I have two books by Sally Thorne. I have The Hating Game and Second First Impressions. The Hating Game is much better. Then, oh my gosh, guys, these are some of my favorite romances. They're the Talia Herbert uh, trilogy for the Brown Sisters. Actor Age Eve Brown is definitely my favorite. Then I have Such a Fun Age, which is contemporary fiction. This is by Kylie Reed. It talks about um, race, and I think that one is very good. And I have They Both Die at the End. I really liked this author's writing, and I want to read more from him. I know he's more of an LGBTQ writer, and I always love reading more about that, so I definitely like that one. Then I have Always in December. This one is um, Like Me Before You, the same trope. If you guys know, you know, uh, but it's really cute. This was actually my first read of 2022. And the last book I have up here is my only Josie Silver book. It is the Two Lives of Lydia Bird. I heard this one is really good. So next I have Christina Lauren's um, Love in Other Words, one of my favorite contemporary romances. And then I have The Unhoneymooners. Didn't really like it, but still good. I have Emily Henry's uh, Beach Read and People We Meet on Vacation. I prefer Beach Read, but both of them are also very good. Then I have two of my favorite books ever because the colors on the cover, they're just so pretty. Red, White, and Royal Blue. And then One Last Stop. This is a man men who love men this is a woman who love women really like it i have um madeline miller's song of achilles and then cersei i have andre asiman's uh, call me by your name and then the companion novel called find me and then the two over here are sally rooney's conversations with friends and then normal people that place them by author that's my goal and these are mostly contemporary i have firefly lane by Kristen hannah I have not read this one but i would really I really want to read this one, I just haven't. And I also want to watch the show. And then I have Little Fires Everywhere, which I didn't really like this one. I'll actually show you the fish shell. I actually have a book up here. It's a table book called She Inspires. I have all my cameras and then like I said, it hanging plant. You guys can't tell I'm obsessed with hippos. My roommate from last year actually got these for me. Allison, thank you so much. They are my favorite thing. They light up pink. Literally, I'm in love with them. So right here, this is actually the volcano candle. It's actually out, but the casing is just so pretty. Um, and it just smells so good. Smell. So I have a Daisy Love perfume. It's empty. This was my mom's. I never use this, but again, casing. Oh my gosh. The casing's so cute, so I display it. First, if you can't tell, this is like my darker books, and then these are my favorite authors. So let's start over here. First, I have Gone Girl. Uh, this book is really good. One of my favorite thrillers. I have The Last Mrs. Parish. I haven't read this one, but I really want to. Uh, anyways. First one I have is Den of Vipers. I have no idea what this is about. I think I saw on Book Talk and bought it without even looking it up. Um, next, I have The Body on the Bed. This was a KU professor. I haven't read it yet. I heard it's really good. He's apparently famous. Um, I actually have it signed by him, so that's pretty cool. Then I have The Atlas Six. Haven't read it. Heard it's really good. Then I have through Penelope Douglas. I had the I had the Credence? Credence? Don't know how to pronounce it. Birthday Girl, Punk 57. I have read Punk 57. I liked it. Interesting. I know how she writes, so I think I would like these two. Not Birthday Girl though, because I know it's an age gap. 
which I think that is preventing me from reading it. Next, I have four Lisa Jewels. Um, I have The Family Upstairs, Watching You, Then She Was Gone, and then Invisible Girl. I read all of them besides The Family Upstairs, which I actually have signed by her. I have The Silent Patient, my favorite thriller from 2021, and then I have Lily King, Writers and Lovers. It's really dark. I haven't read it yet. Wow, now I really want to read this one. I know it's fiction, but wow. First author is Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I really want all of her paperbacks. I know I have Malibu Rising as a hardcover, but it doesn't matter. So the first one I have is Maybe in Another Life. Um, this book was really good, very interesting. Four stars, I think I rated it. Are five star books, even though I rated Daisy Jones in the six, four. This one, so good. I'm not even gonna talk about it. This is One True Loves. This is my second book by her. I love this one. It is, it's so good. And then obviously the classic, the, uh, Seven a Husband of Evelyn Hugo, first book by her. Um, really like it. Like I said, I usually have it ends with us, um, but I don't have it sadly. So I have Verity, Layla, November 9, Regretting You, Ugly Love, favorite. Uh, heart bones without merit and they confess guys that's it thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me talk about all my books i know it was a lot my dog is at my door now so i'm gonna get him but i'll talk to you guys very soon here's how many books i own which is an insane amount of number i already know um i'll just say thrift books gifts gift cards saving that's probably how i do it um anyways i'll talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys